Hi guys, I'm Greg Rutke of Rutke Mods and welcome to Season 2 of my Mac Pro series. In this season we'll be covering various topics on Mac Pros in general. The first generations, the aluminum tower forms. But before we continue, this episode is going to be a few mix of things, but mainly it's an update to Episode 2 of last season's Mac Pros. I will be covering a little bit more about my 2.1 Mac Pro, which I call Twisted Mac. But this whole series and season continuing on will mostly be centered more around this new 3.1 I have right next to me. But for now, we'll cover over the 2.1 and all the updates I have done about it. And in the next video, we'll be starting up with other things, like the 3 column one. Anyway, sit back and enjoy, and here we go. Okay, so here's my current setup. As we can see right here, here's my Mac Pro 2 comma one which the whole series has been based off of so far. And, of course, there's the 3 comma one sitting right there. Now, with the 2 comma one I named it Twisted Mac. And I also went over it last year around this time in episode 2 on all the specs that were in it. And if you want to see that video, why it's bent, why it's named that, you can click this link right here. And you'll also see the video from last year and what was in it at the time. Now this Mac Pro has gone through many revisions since then, and it still will go through more as time goes on. Right now it has a 970 in it, which will be going in the 3 comma 1, and the 3 comma 1's 960 I'm testing in it right now will be going into that. Plus the airport card that's in this, which is an AC card from osxwifi.com, will be going into the 3 comma 1, and the Wi-Fi module that's in there will be going in the 2 comma 1. And that's just because I'll be doing a lot more with the 3 comma 1 in the future, this will still be used a lot, and you guys will still get videos on it every once in a while. But right now, I want to show you the specs of everything and how it's been going, and we'll start it up right now. Okay, so since we're updating from Episode 2 of last season, I'd recommend that if you want to go back and watch it, like I said earlier... Go and watch it. It was a very interesting video, and you can see what it was like a year ago. Now, of course, it was a rough video. My first few videos were pretty rough in this series, and that was because I started filming with a broken hand. I had a broken hand for the roughly probably the first 10 episodes in the series. And so that was number one. Then I also didn't have the right editing software, and I have just gotten better at being more fluid with my videos. So I'm just putting that out there. So anyway, let's do an update on this whole system and I'll try to make it as smooth and quick as possible. Okay, so let's start with the outside and I'll show you what has changed in the last year. As we can see up in the top corner, there is a AAA bumper sticker, which I thought was funny because the computer looks like it's been hit by a car. We also have a clearance sticker over the Apple logo, and that's because I got it for so cheap, and after the bending fiasco, I got it even cheaper. Now if we move to the front, it hasn't changed a whole lot, but it does now have an EVGA sticker, which I think blends in quite nicely. Now if we continue spinning it around, we have Xeon stickers up in the top corner symbolizing both CPUs, and a USB 3.0 hub right here, which I use to plug in things so I don't have to reach around the back to plug it in. Now in the back, it hasn't changed a whole lot, but now we can see the GT120, the USB 3.0 card, and the GTX 970. Now let's open it up. Now the computer itself is a little more bent than it used to be, and now leans a bit to the left, and that's because I accidentally tripped over it a few months ago. I feel guilty for doing it, but I managed to get it back together as best as possible. It's a little more bent, but I plan on eventually drilling some holes in it and 
doing some pop rivets to pop it back together. So let's open it up. We'll pull the top up and flip the side down. Now here's what the inside looks like. Since last year I have replaced the logic board, which you could see in, I believe it was episode 30 of last season. Now I have all 32 gigs worth of RAM. As we can see right here, I'll pull one of these out. And if you're wondering, no, it doesn't matter if you have Mac Pro heat sinks or not. It still runs pretty cool. In fact, it may run cooler. So we'll set that down. And inside we can see the EVGA GTX 970 Superclock, my USB 3.0 card, and my GT120. As we can see in here, we have just enough airflow. This is why I use a laptop drive right here to allow airflow to come into the fan right here so we don't have to worry about it overheating. I did the same thing in my 3.1, which you'll see in an upcoming video. So we'll also look around in the rest of the system. It still has the airport card, which I'll be transferring over to the 3.1. And it still has the BDXL drive in the top, plus the DVD burner that came with it. And if we pull the drives out, we still have the 2 terabyte SSHD. And we also have this drive here. This drive is from an airport time capsule which I used to um, when I upgraded it to an 8 terabyte this came out of that and I replaced my old Maxter 300 gig drive with that because that drive shortly after episode 2 was filmed probably less than a week later died and it wasn't um, that great because at the time it was the computer drive that I was using to store all my videos. Luckily I had a backup so it wasn't a huge fiasco. Here we have a laptop drive. This is like a 100 gig from a Mac Mini which I just used for my Lion install and like I said you can see that it gives plenty enough airflow for the card. And lastly we have a one terabyte WD green drive which I pulled from an external drive that I wasn't using anymore, which I store all my important Mac programs on. So that's basically the 2,1 as it is of right now. And in the next videos coming up, we will be covering the 3,1 and a few things about why you should choose one over another again, like I did last year only more updated for this year and I'll explain a bunch of myths and other things and what we should expect coming up soon. Anyway, so as the end of the video and thank you for watching. This has been a Rutke Mods video. Hi guys, I'm Greg Rutke of Rutke Mods, and welcome back to Season 2 of my, I haven't even, this is the first episode, it's to me. But, before we begin, I thought we'd revisit the topic of Season 2. Ugh. Okay, as we can see right here, here's my... Okay, so here's the current setup, as we can see right here. We have the, I'm not even pointing at it. Mac. If you want to understand why it's named Twisted Mac and why it's so bent, and visit the video. Why did I even say it that way?